an 85-75 victory over UT Martin to close out the regular season. Coach, we'll start with an opening statement. Well, we're really proud of our guys. Um, we came out. Um, I knew we would bounce back after a tough performance um, on Thursday. Um, the guys would have a lot of pride in their performance, their competitors. They did. Uh, they responded really well. I thought in the first half defensively we were really outstanding, set the tone for the game. Uh, our shot selection, I think the shot quality towards the end of the half, there wasn't very good. And um, we could have even had a bigger lead, I think, at halftime. But um, I'm really impressed with UT Martin. You know, their basketball team found out before this game that they were not going to be able to qualify for the OBC tournament. Um, and they found a way to just be competitors themselves. And you got to give their coach, their players, a lot of credit. Uh, they put themselves in a situation uh, in the second half to have a chance to win that game. And, and then it was really uh, uh, fun to watch and see um, our leadership step up. Uh, the senior class, Junior Clay and Amadou Celia, Biggie Goldman, John Petway, uh, just kept stepping up and making plays uh, offensively. We got a little bit of defense into the game finally there uh, late in the second half, and uh, we're able to get the win. But um, uh, the players deserve so much credit uh, for how they finished the season, how they handled COVID, how they handled, you know, a really, really challenging schedule of playing so many games in such a short period of time, three games in a week for a month, um, and to finish the way they have. Uh, to put themselves in the conference tournament for the first time since 2018. I could not be more proud of them. Uh, they deserve it. They wanted a little momentum. They wanted to create some memories on, on senior night. Uh, seniors are special. And uh, those four guys are very, very near and dear to us. We are so appreciative of them and their families for everything they've done for our basketball team, our program, our university. And for some people, it might fly under the radar, but five or seven, or five wins in the last seven games going into the tournament, you guys have a little bit of momentum going. Yeah, we do, you know, and then and, uh, I think uh, that's the Tennessee State game. Uh, we had two more losses there where it was last second shots, one that beat us, you know, uh, basically in the Belmont game, the one we didn't make against SIUE. So we've been playing some better basketball. Uh, hopefully we can stay in that mindset, uh, take all our lessons learned, keep trying to get better. That's what we're going to need. Um, we got to get prepared now, and uh, uh, we're going to face a familiar opponent. Um, it's been two very close games against them this season, and and uh, we're going to get their best shot. we got to be ready to give them ours, and um, there's nothing more fun for a college basketball player to be competing uh, in the month of March. So I'm looking forward to these guys and seeing how they respond. 23, 23 for 31 at the free throw line. You guys were able to find ways to get there and make those shots count. Yeah, you know, uh, we've been doing a better job of that lately and um, just really – think an aggressive attacking mindset with, you know, obviously our guards with Keyshawn and Junior, but also Deontay Wood and John Petway. You know, Kenny White has uh, uh, made some free throws tonight. Obviously, some of those where they were fouling late. Um, but it's good to see those guys get themselves to the free throw line, but also make them. And, of course, UT Martin, with, 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 not, with what they were playing for tonight, 73 shots. I mean, that's a lot. But you guys were keeping them from getting good looks. Yeah, you know, um, the first half, like I said, I thought we did a great job defensively. I mean, we were really, really good defensively. Uh, the second half, not so much. Uh, you gave up 51 points. It's a good thing we scored 51. Um, but um, they, uh, I think some of that was our defense, but you have to give them a lot of credit. A lot of it was them. Uh, the kid, Bernie Andres, had a great night uh, from the field. Uh, he, he, he really put on a show there in the second half. Um, also, K.J. Simon's an outstanding player. Uh, he's as good a you know scoring guard as there in the, is in this league. So um, we got a lot of respect for UT Martin, their players. Combined 78 points in the paint for the two teams. Definitely a bit, very physical game inside. Yeah, you know, I think we're one of the top two-point shooting teams, you know, in the conference. And um, uh, we don't shoot a lot of threes. Um, we, we do take some. Um, we have been shooting a better percentage from there. But um, – you know, with our guys' ability to drive the ball, with our, with Deontay and and John's cutting ability behind the defense, um, we need all those layups. They're a lot easier to make those than anywhere else on the court. And of course, a senior night and big night for these guys. Just talk about what these guys have meant to this program. Well, you know, you really appreciate a guy like John Petway coming up here and giving you a year, and he's he said he was going to be a servant, and he has. He's been a servant leader. He's tried to help everybody out. Um, wow. We'd take him for another year, uh, take him for another 15 minutes if we could get him. He's 
He's just an amazing, amazing young man, and we are very, very appreciative of him. He's also done some good things on the court in terms of had a big impact on his winning, whether it's his defense or whether it's his uh, offense. He's been great. Amadou Silia has been a warrior for us from day one and uh, for three years. He's done nothing but give his heart and soul and be a great teammate and uh, be resilient and tough. He never gives up, and um, he, he's, he's had a big impact on our, on our program. Um, Biggie Goldman has been here for two years. There's never been one thing we've asked him to do that he hasn't done. And, um, man, he has played really well down the stretch here. Uh, I don't know where we'd be without him. We're so appreciative of he and his family. And Junior Clay, you know, has been a four-year starter here. I've been a four-year Mr. Everything. Um, he'll be on the record books forever. Um, the fans I know are going to appreciate and miss uh, his energy and effort, his competitive nature. Uh, he loves to play basketball. He's always been – he's never backed down from any challenge and – and uh, we needed him once again tonight. And he stepped up big again tonight, whether it's in leadership or scoring the ball. Um, all those guys are why we won. And we're just very thankful and appreciative to them and their families, everything that they've done for, for uh, their teammates, for this basketball program, for this university. And next week, it all starts new. Yes, it does. You know, uh, March Madness is here, and we get a chance to go to Evansville. We're excited about that. All right. Congratulations on the win, Coach. We will see you next week in Evansville. Thank you.